Um, as you probably know, treatment of AML has been really the same for the past 30 years. Uh, and it hasn't been particularly effective. It uses two drugs called cytarabine and donorubus. It combines them and treats patients and um, a small fraction respond and the ones that do respond don't respond for all that long. So CPX351, as I said, is a, the two drugs that are, have historically been used to treat AML, packaged in a nanoscale liposome, 100 nanometers, 100 times smaller than a red blood cell. And we did a lot of uh, early laboratory work showing that it worked in test tubes and some preclinical models of leukemia that looked really exciting. We got some great results making uh, animals with leukemia live much, much longer than you could ever achieve with the existing drugs as they're used today. And then we um, did a series of studies and scaled up the formulation uh, so that it could be manufactured in a way that would be suitable for treatment uh, of, of patients. And um, at that point, we applied to uh, both Health Canada and to the FDA in the States to be able to do a phase one trial, which is really the first clinical trial treating um, leukemia patients to ensure that we're getting the dose just right, that we're getting the maximum activity to kill the leukemia cells without causing too much toxicity or side effects to the patients. So that was completed, and the results were actually very promising. Even at that point, we were getting complete uh, remission of leukemia in a lot of patients who really you wouldn't expect to see that type of response in. So that gave us a lot of uh, enthusiasm to take it forward into uh, what was then two phase two trials and in, in this uh, in these trials they're in specific types of leukemia patients. So in one case it was in newly diagnosed elderly leukemia patients and then we did another trial in patients that had um, AML in first relapse, and that means they were treated, got a remission, but now the, drug, the, the, the leukemia has come back, and we treated them with CPIX351. So those are the studies that have been completed to date, and the results have been very, very positive. We've seen improvements in response rates and re complete remission of the leukemia. Um, the number of patients that have cleared their leukemia is much higher than in the conventional standard of care treatment that I uh, referred to earlier. Um, and beyond that, in the patients that typically do the poorest, the high-risk patients, patients with the worst prognosis, the improvement was the greatest. Involvement and assistance that we've obtained today from LLS has been extremely important in our ability to develop and, and complete these clinical trials and help patients. So. The LLS support through the Therapy Acceleration Program allowed us to do these two simultaneous phase two randomized trials, both of which were quite large, 125 patients each. Without the LLS support, I'm not convinced we would have been able to really undertake that second trial. And the two trials really helped us to identify the patient population that we can now move forward in our phase three study to get the product registered and commercially available.